What are you doing? My shoes? So, Barb, what do you think of the endorphin speed? Best shoe I've ever worn. There you They're go. super comfy. Make me run fast. That's the unbiased opinion from Barb. Okay, first run of the endorphin speed one. I am late to the party, but I went, but I went with that sick colorway. Um, if you want detailed reviews, check a few links. Um, Ethan Newberry, the ginger runner, does the full review of the endorphin speed. Check out his channel. Seth James Damore, check out his channel. Run for Adventure Lloyd over in uh, England, check his. Check Jameson Michael, all of those gentlemen, and there are many uh, ladies out there with full review of the endorphin speed but I just want to give my short perspective on this I've uh, I've been a runner since 1983 and I did long distance run then switched over to triathlon long distance triathlon and then now back to trail and ultra running and I had bought my very first pair of shoes when back in 1983 long time ago and I, they actually were a Ciccone Jazz the original Jazz I don't know what number they're on they're probably on number 25 by now uh, but that was the first time I got excited about buying a pair of running shoes my Ciccone Jazz and I haven't had a pair of Ciccone's actually in a few years I had the Peregrine 6 I believe a few years back I haven't had a pair of Ciccone Road shoes for a few years because I switched Mainly the trail. I, I'd get find some running shoes on sale, Nikes or New Balance or Asics, whatever, whatever brand, basically just on sale because I spent more of my time on trails than I do on the road. But I can honestly say, and I am not sponsored by Ciccone in any way, they're not paying me to make this. Nobody's paying me. I spent my $200 Canadian on, the, on these and uh, this is the very first pair of shoes that I've been excited about in a very long time. They are, they are actually quite amazing, I must say. You feel like you have to run fast when you're running with these shoes on. Uh, so I'm putting down a relatively fast pace for me for, <laughs> for my age and I'm concentrating more on all the long stuff, not this short, hard stuff. This is, I'm way past that point in my life. But I can honestly say that these are a fantastic running shoe. And if you can get your hands on a pair of the Endorphin Speed, the one, I know they've come up with the two now and people are doing reviews on the two, but if you can get your hands on the one, highly recommend them. The, uh, lots, of, lots of reviewers, as I mentioned, have all the stats and specs and all that feel. But one thing I did notice is the amount of energy return in that Peebus midsole. I'm not used to that big of a stack height. It's quite high for what I'm used to, logging up here. Um, but the energy return, if I had these shoes back in my younger days, I probably would have set a, uh, a few more PRs. Probably, I would even say in a half marathon marathon, probably, I'm gonna guess 2% faster. Maybe not necessarily in the 10 or 5K or the mile, because I'd go with a really light shoe. But as far as the half marathon marathon, yeah, definitely get 2% more out of these just with that nylon plate and the energy return of the foam. And also just the forgiving nature of a, of a midsole that's that thick compared to what I raced in 20 years ago. So those are my thoughts on uh, Ciccone Endorphin Speed. I highly recommend them. They are fantastic shoes. Well done, Ciccone. You uh, you put out a you put out a great product for sure. And uh, thanks for watching. This is kind of an unusual shoe review video because 
uh, I'm just doing it different here on the channel. Thanks again for watching you guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.